The Rationality of the Square Root of 2 Presented by Instructor Anthony Without further ado, let us begin. Start off with a definition. What is a rational number? A rational number Q is a real number that can be represented as a ratio of two integers, A and B, with B non-zero, also known as Q equal to A divided by B. An irrational number is a real number that cannot be represented as such ratio. Now, we claim that the square root of 2 is indeed irrational. To show this, we're going to utilize two lemmas. This is a Pythagorean triple. It's very similar to the Pythagorean theorem. A Pythagorean triple consists of three positive integers, a, b, and c, such that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Furthermore, the Pythagorean triple is primitive if a, b, and c are pairwise coprime. This implies that the greatest common divisor between any two of them is unitary, the number 1. To the right, you see we have the classical triangle 8, 15, and 17. These are the legs 8 and 15, and the hypotenuse has a value of 17. This is a right triangle, and 8, 15, and 17 form a Pythagorean triple. In more colloquial terms, Pythagorean triples are the side lengths of a right triangle. Generation of a Pythagorean triple. Given two positive coprime integers m and n, one can generate a Pythagorean triple using the following algorithm. We will set a equal to m squared minus n squared, b equal to twice the product of m and n, and c equal to m squared plus n squared. Remember that m and n have to be positive integers and that they're co-prime, so the greatest common divisor between m and m is unitary. The hypotenuse can never be even. Without loss of generality, suppose m is even and n is odd. It is clear that opposite parity integers are co-prime. It follows that m can be represented as 2 times some integer k, and n can be represented as 2 times some integer l plus 1. Now, by previous formulation, c is equal to m squared plus n squared. After substituting the values for m and n and factoring, we have c is equal to 2 times 2k squared plus 2l squared plus 2l. In blue, we can change this notation to the letter q for some integer q. And thus, c is odd as it can be represented as 2 times some integer plus 1. The square root of 2 is indeed an irrational number. To do this, we will utilize the previous hypotheses. Suppose not, that is, consider square root of 2 is rational and it can be represented as a ratio of integers a and b with b non zero. It follows that if we square both sides, we have 2 is equal to a squared over b squared. And when we multiply b squared on both sides, we have 2 times b squared is equal to a squared. So we see that the hypotenuse a is indeed even. And now we can split 2 times b squared into adding b squared twice by definition of addition. So this shows that we have a Pythagorean triple, b, b, and a, and a is the hypotenuse. However, we have a is even, but by previous hypotheses and the lemma, a cannot be even. So we have a is even and a is not even. Therefore, the original supposition that the square root of 2 is rational is false, and square root of 2 is irrational. And this concludes the proof. Quad erat demonstrata.